Jump man T twisted towards TV. Jump man T twisted towards TV. Jump man T twisted towards TV. Jump man T break them down to every lead. Coming live from the huddle. Yeah, twisted gon' give it to you straight off the muscle. Yeah, twisted gon' break down every play with no struggle. Yeah, it's like he in the field room. It's like he in the booth with the headset on. Coordinating. Coordination. He gon' show you what the defense is anticipating. He gon' show you how the offense move the ball out of field. From first down to touchdown, twist it towards hold the crown. And he did it with no gimmicks. The mother clowns. The show has arrived. The champ is here. The champ is coming home. It's time to show out. Yo, 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 it's Jumpman T with Twisted Torch TV. I'm back again. Turn me up in your headphones. It's lit. We have a chance to uh, redeem myself from week two. Going against Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady. Matt Ryan hasn't beat Tom Brady since he's been in the league. This is our week. <laughs> This is our week. <laughs> but hey, first of all, let's get into some house rules. If you would like to donate to show support to Twisted Torch TV, hit up my cash app, dollar sign, Twisted Torch TV. It'll be right here. If you want to go ahead and show out, and then if you want to just get right to it, go in the description. Click on the link. You'll go right to it if you want to donate. But let's get into it. Before we get into the content, as far as Bucks versus the Falcons, we got to talk about some things. I see a lot of Falcons creators creating clickbait, doing negative vibes just to get certain fans to watch them. Bruh, fans are going to watch you regardless. Keep it real and be yourself. You do not have to do clickbait to get fans to watch videos. It's contradicting and it's annoying. Also, I've been arguing with fans on Twitter, fake fans that is, not the real fans. You know, I, you know Twisted loves the real fans. The fake fans are saying we should just fall out uh, and tank, it don't matter. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? We're st we still have a chance to go to the playoffs. The season, as far as the NFC, hasn't been too good. So we have a chance to go to the playoffs. I'm not jumping off the bandwagon and there's still a chance to fight. Like Matt Ryan said, we, we come to the NFL to win games. We get paid to win games. So I'm not jumping off ship. If you want to do that, put your jersey up, and you can come back when they start winning. But I what? Stop! I'm not tanking if they have a chance to go to the playoffs, and I want some of the fans to think like that as well. Don't think negative. Think positive. If they haven't shown you negative ways, and unless they say, "Oh, the Falcons are eliminated completely," then we can talk draft. I'm not talking draft until I know for sure they're out of the playoffs. We got six more games. We're in the seventh seed, five and six, competing with uh, Washington, competing with the Vikings, competing with um, who's another? I think it's another team. Uh, the Eagles have a chance. There's like three or four teams. So let's keep fighting, Saints, Panthers. Let's keep fighting. And with these division games, we have a chance to get a lead up on some of the teams that are competing for the sixth and seventh seed. Back to it. Back to it. So like I said, the Falcons versus the Bucks. Tom Brady is doing this thing. 30 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. A great year. A.B. is out. Oh my God. A.B. and Edwards. <laughs> hey. You thought you were going to fake it until you made it. <laughs> NFL said, no, no, no. They hit him with the Matumbo. No, no, no. You are not going to fake COVID vaccine cards and think you're going to just play. I'll take those three games for 10. <laughs> Edwards, you, you picked Matt Ryan off twice in week two. You won't be there. So I look for Matt Ryan to take advantage of some of these matchups. Like I said, it's always going to be our wide receivers and running backs doing out the backfield versus their corners and safeties. Cordell Patterson, he came back last week and did his thug fizzle. 108 yards, two touchdowns on a, I want to say about 85, 90%. He wasn't all the way 100. But Flash is back. Talk to me nice. Flash is back. So y'all thought the Cowboys and the Patriots, them good teams, no cap. But that was without Cordell Patterson. 
I guarantee you, Kyle Pitts will get some good mismatches this week moving forward. I'm looking for Kyle Pitts to have a good game. Based on what Cordell did, based on what Cordell did, they're going to try to focus more on Cordell Patterson, and Kyle Pitts will be able to eat over the middle of the field. So look for Kyle Pitts to take some chances. Maddie, Maddie, <laughs> Maddie. I know it's been a tough couple weeks, man. No weapons. They showed like a little grab that Matt Ryan pretty much doesn't have no help as far as the running game and receivers creating separation. It's pretty much all on Matty Ice. So since it is, Matt, I need one of those historic games that you're known for. Year, week in and week out, you have did those type of games before. I know you can do it versus the Saints. You did it versus other teams this year. You've done it versus the Giants versus Washington. I need one of those games again, Matty. We got to shut the haters up. And like you said, we're competing. And that's what you look forward to. When you get down to week 10 and week 11, you want to still be in contention to compete for playoffs. The past three years, you haven't felt that. So I know you're anxious this week. And I need you to turn into Mr. Franklin from Snowfall. Show me. It's my shit. You know, I got all this shit hanging over my head. But you off trying to start a war with our partners. The nigga diss me every time I see him. Acting like he the one in charge and shit. And Compton, he is the one. You lose. Every time you bite with that nigga, and I'm the one that pays for it. And you gonna get off his corners? You gonna leave his people be? Or you the one that's gonna find yourself a new plug? You don't mean that shit? The fuck I don't. I built this shit. Me. Brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. <sighs> Drive, motherfucker! Like Cordell Patterson said after this touchdown, it's my sh You in Atlanta, take over. We haven't won no games at home. This my town, my city. Come back and take advantage of it, Maddie. I see it in the cars. I look forward to Kyle Pitts. Like I said, he's gonna he's gonna target Kyle Pitts early in this game. Look forward to seeing some some big shots with Kyle Pitts early in this game. Let's switch over to the defense. Tom Brady. Tom Brady is electrifying. We all know that. Hall of Famer, GOAT, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, we know that. But last, last uh, week two, Dante Fowler got a strip sack on him. Last week, Dante Fowler got a strip sack on Ter uh, Trevor Lawrence. Dante Fowler is starting to heat up. I told y'all once before, when you have those mismatches where you have Grady and Dante Fowler on the same side, it creates one-on-one -on -one coverage. It creates the uh, left tackle, not left tackle, the right tackle and right guard to make a decision. Who am I going to double? And then you might can a little, do a little flurries. Send the slot corner on a blitz. Make the right tackle go all the way out. Easy lane for Gr uh, Grady Jerry. Now, do a linebacker blitz. Weak side linebacker. Deion Jones on the outside. Fake like you're going in, make the right tackle reach, and you just blitz right in. These are keys Dean Pease is watching. Dean Pease has stated, you know, it's been tough because he's dealing with a young squad. Not too many people know his type of scheme besides memes and besides Copeland. So he had to pretty much downgrade the, the actual play calling, 30% of it. He hasn't really unleashed the actual playbook on him. It's coming up, though. Fourier is getting comfortable. Deion Jones is getting comfortable. It's coming up. AJ Terrell is the best. I am not lying. I saw I saw Raymond get cooked the other day. Ramsey got cooked the other day. He's been getting cooked. When that front four don't make pressure, it's not that easy to get those defensive flex and those uh, turnovers. It's not that easy when you got Aaron Donald. I look forward. He's not going to try AJ Terrell. I can tell you that now. They're not going to try AJ Terrell. They're going to go to the slot or go to the left-hand side. I'm looking for Eric Harris and uh, Jamin Hawkins to make a lot of plays in this back end. I'm hoping for a turnover. We need it. Tom Brady tried to throw a couple turnovers to us in week two. We didn't take advantage of it. I look forward to us doing these competitions. My boy, Rashad Perryman, he come back to the town this week. He plays receiver for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm looking forward to him might be lined up on A.J. Terry. He's like the third Third string, fourth string receiver based on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They got a lot of weapons. So, but he was, he was a former first round pick. He knows how to make plays. He's a deep play type uh, receiver. So we gotta watch out for that. The one good thing about us though, 
Y'all may say the Falcons defense and all that, they trash. <clears throat> they trash. Guess what? The Falcons defense haven't gave up a play over 40 yards this season. Zilch. Nada. Zero. None. Let's continue, let's continue that streak. Tom Brady is going to try to go downfield. He's having tough times getting to Mike Evans the football. Mike Evans does have six touchdowns, but he's making most of his plays in the red zone. So let's look to keep him out of the red zone. When we get down to the red zone, they're going to try to attack with Mike Evans. Goodwin hasn't had over 70 yards in three games. Ouch. So expect him. They're going to try to get him into the fold, see what he can and can't do. I'm looking for that matchup. We got a rookie that's ready for you, though. <laughs> Darren Hall is coming down to lay that hammer. You can see A.J. Terrell is getting these secondary guys right. He's like, nah, we tackling over here. Ain't no pretty boy stuff. We coming down, laying the hammer. If you saw versus the Jaguars, Darren Hall ready to play perfectly. They tried to do a little bubble ring. Ah, I'm out of there. Mm. Got his head out the way. Great tackle, Darren Hall. I like how you're playing, bro. You got a sack the week before on um, the Patriots. So let's keep him in the fold. Dean Pease is starting to trust him. When he starts to trust him, they get more playing time. You've seen Richard Grant a little bit more, too. Let's keep that fo Let's keep that moving forward, guys. We got to make plays, though. Defense, we got to get sacks. Offense, we have to score when we get chances. 21 points will not work versus 10 Bay Buccaneers. They are a former Super Bowl team on, for, for a reason, and they're going to be good. So we got to make sure we attack, and when we, get our, uh, when we get our possessions, take advantage of them. When we get stops, we got to score on those stops. Because if we don't, 9 times out of 10, Tom Brady will score. Just being honest. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. I appreciate all y'all watching the content. All y'all Falcons fans, I appreciate y'all, man. If you're looking for a guy that's going to be honest with you, keep it real, do the X's and O's while giving hope. I'm not polluting the, uh, the fan base and saying we need to tank. I'm not doing that. You will not get that on Twisted Torch TV. So if you want to come, you're an original fan, you enjoy the Falcons, win, lose, or draw, come on down. Like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys always. Also, if you want to donate, if you want to donate to Twisted, Hit my cash app up, dollar sign Twisted Torch TV. Pop. Dollar sign Twisted Torch TV. Pop. Shouts out to you. Also, great music by Picasso with a pen. So if you haven't checked that out, iTunes, Spotify, check them out, Picasso with a pen. Twisted Torch TV is out. He also has a couple more bangers that you want to listen to. Check those out. Check those out. I see it's a Thursday night game. I don't care for the Cowboys, I don't care for the Saints, but I prefer the Cowboys to win. I hate the Saints. I hate the Aints. I hate the Aints. I hate the Aints. <laughs> Flash! Hey, Flash, is your time, baby. Let's go ahead and get these 10 touchdowns for you for your first time. I'm looking forward to seeing you do heavy work. You say you want to stay here. This your, this your town. Come take over. Shouts out to you. Cordell, what's up, bro? Flash! Kyle Pitts, it's your time, baby. Turn up. Turn up, Piss. Turn up. Woo! As Rick Flair would say. Woo! Twist to TV, man. I'm out. Coming live from the huddle. Yeah. Twist it, gon' give it to you straight off the muscle. Yeah. Twist it, gon' break down every play with no struggle. Yeah. It's like he in the film room. It's like he in the booth with the 